You're watching 13 on your side. And we begin tonight with a call for answers in the death of a 22-year-old Comstock Park man shot by an Allegan County Sheriff's deputy in June. Michigan State Police have finished their investigation into Joe Nagel's death last week. 13 on your side's Andrea Flores is here now with the family's reaction. Juliet, the case is now in the hands of the Allegan County Prosecutor's Office and Joe Nagel's uncle says the family wants justice. We want to know what happened. It's been two months since 22-year-old Joe Nagel was shot and killed by an Allegan County Sheriff's deputy. His uncle Jamie says he feels lost. If you knew my nephew, he was a good boy. He was um, never in trouble, never anything. That's why this really makes it very questionable on how it came to this. We don't understand that. We'd like to know. That way we can we can come to grips. Jamie describes his nephew as a gentle giant who passed the police academy but didn't take the job because he didn't like guns. Nagel was a state champion wrestler, but Jamie says he was not a fighter. I had never seen this boy angry, upset, mad, never in a fight. Which is why reports from Michigan State Police don't make sense to the family. Officials say that Nagel was pulled over around 10 at night on June 16th on suspicion of impaired driving. Police say when Nagel was under arrest, he started to fight the officer. Michigan State Police say they have been in communication with the family, but Jamie says they hadn't heard that the investigation is complete. And as this is going on, this police officer is on paid leave. He's getting paid to stay at home with his family. My nephew's not ever gonna be with my family again and will never ever have that and be able to make more memories like we've had for the last 22 years. Now, the family just wants answers. If he was at fault, he was at fault and, and we're all right with that. But if this officer was at fault, then he needs to be held accountable. Michigan State Police tell me that unless the Allegan County prosecutor needs more investigation work done by them, a de decision on possible charges could come soon. The prosecutor did not get back to me tonight with a comment. Juliet. Andrea, thank you.